Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And today we have, of course, updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which are Patch Tuesday updates. So what's up with the Patch Tuesday updates? Uh, once again, 107 flaws are fixed in the different Microsoft products today. And of course, to uh, see the updates and get your security updates for Windows, uh, and other services, if you have uh, check marked, you know, to get updates for other Microsoft products, there's quite a few flaws in Microsoft Office that are fixed also. And uh, so you check for updates uh, here in the update history. Mine was uh, on 24H2, 506-3878. Um, but uh, there's for Windows 10 also and Windows 11, 23H2. Of those 107 flaws, uh, 44 are elevation of privilege vulnerabilities, 35 remote code execution, 18 information disclosure, 40 denial of service, 9 spoofing vulnerabilities. Now, um, there's one zero day in there, which is the Windows Kerberos uh, elevation of privilege, uh, which is a um, security identification uh, and uh, it's kind of a core, uh, a core um, security feature of Windows. So it's very important to um, fix this uh, for security reasons. But there's a lot of other things in there, including several critical uh, flaws. So when you look at the uh, the updates, even though they're not tagged as zero days. Uh, within Windows, there are um, there's graphics kernel remote code execution. Uh, there's a critical flaw in the Microsoft Microsoft graphics component. There are some critical flaws for um, Hyper-V, the remote code execution vulnerability in Windows. Uh, lots of important flaws too. Uh, Windows GDI Plus. There's also Windows message queuing and Windows NTLM, elevation of privilege, so several critical flaws, uh, which mean it's extremely important to fix Windows today as it has a lot of security holes that are, of course, going to be uh, fixed, which means bad guys can't use them anymore. It's the number one way, once again, to stay safe, to fix security flaws. So these are the uh, updates for August of 2025. Uh, check it out. And of course, once again, if you haven't installed bug fixing updates of late July, they are going to install themselves at the same time today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.